hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to implement paypal get payment gateway in asp.net core so we have a asp.net core project here and we have another video in which we have explained how to implement paypal payment gateway in mvc so this video is about asp.net core so the first thing what we have to do is we have to install paypal nugget package um, in our application and along with that you will also need system dot configuration dot configuration manager nugget package so you have to install both of these nugget packages in your application and then what we have is we have to go to the controller and here we have written code for uh, paypal integration and we have few methods here and this is the main action that we will call when we will, we will click on the button for the payment okay so uh, we will just run the application first and i will show you the steps so here we have a button and we uh, using which we are just redirecting on the method that i just showed you so this is the method on which we will redirect on and here i have accessed three values the paypal key paypal secret and paypal mode from the app setting file so we can see what is in the app setting so you can see the app setting we have this paypal key that i have created and here is the key and secret and then we have the mode it can be sandbox or live as per your credentials so if you are using sandbox credentials then put sandbox here and if you have production credentials then put live here okay so now as i said we have just got value from the app setting and now we have one file here paypal configuration and that is in the models so this file is basically for getting the api context for the paypal and here we have to pass the mod uh, to the uh, auth token to make sure that uh, to tell it that which mode it is for okay so we will have sandbox here because it is getting passed from the app setting file so this will have sandbox or live as per the app setting value so um, we will provide you the code and we will let you know from where you will get the code but for now we will just understand the structure so for making it more clear we will just see the working of this so we have this pay now button and when we click on that it will go to the method as i said and it will get the three values that we just saw earlier so you can see in the client id we have value client secret and mode now we are passing this to the api context and it will return back the api context uh, for hitting the um, paypal apis okay so now it is checking the payer id so the first time payer, payer id will be blank because it is getting passed from the action so it will be blank in the beginning and here we will create one url where it will redirect okay so this will be the payment url and then we have this create payment method so in the create payment method we have everything related to the amount and the item details for which you want to make the payments okay so you can see here we are adding uh, items in the list we are setting the dummy name here dummy amount and dummy currency but you can change it so SKU is really required here so you cannot remove that part and the most important part of that is uh, the invoice number so this is the invoice number that we have now for every invoice this number must be different so we are using uh, GUID for this purpose so it will be random every time so this is where we will add the amount and uh, like uh, which item we want to uh, ask payment for okay so now we will just debug the code and it will return back the payment object and now it will just redirect to the URL 
where it will use all the details that we have just set for the amount and the item so it will redirect to the new url so here we will see the redirection so now it, you can see that it is using the sandbox credentials for now and if you are using live credentials then uh, it will be going on uh, uh, api.table.com okay so now you can see here it has showed the option pay with credit or debit card we can create to click on that now here we will just select the usa so you basically need and uh, dummy credentials for sandbox but uh, you cannot just enter anything here you have to may enter the sensible information and the card must be generated from paypal so you can check our earlier video like how you can get those credentials or you will also get the credentials with the uh, block that we will just uh, uh, link up in the video description okay so here i will just enter one card number and then we have to add the cvv and month years okay so now i will just select the details now remember that the details must be related to the country that you are selecting here so i have entered the details that are related to usa so only that then it will work so now we will just turn this off and we can con click on continue as guest so when you click here it will now go back to the same action that we have seen earlier okay but this time it will have the payer id uh, from the transaction that you just did in the ui so it will return back the payer id so we will just see so we have the payer id here okay now we will just run again and so this time it will find the payer id so it will not go in the if condition it will go in the else condition and here we are getting the payment id that we just set in the session in the if condition okay so we are getting the same payment id because that will be required and here we are just executing the payment so once you click on executing payment then it will return back if the payment is successful or not so like i will show you that the state is approved here so that means payment is done successfully and here or you will also find in the transaction you can go and you will see the amount here the amount for which the transaction is done and also you will also see the item list here so this is the same details that we have um, put static earlier in the create payment method okay so since the state is approved so um, that means that payment is success if it is not approved then it will go to payment failed but currently it is success so it will return back to success view now success view is nothing it is just a blank page so you can uh, add any page as per your uh, requirements but for now it is just a simple success text okay so now talking about the code part from where you can get the code uh, you can just search cotonite.com this is our official website i will also and give you a direct link for the blog but uh, if you don't have the direct link then you can follow this so you can search the cotonet.com and then here you will see a blog how to implement paypal in asp.net core you can click on that part so this is blog is entirely the same code that we have just seen working so don't you worry about that part and so here you can just download the attachment from here. So thanks for watching guys and if you have any kind of issue then you can comment on the video. So thanks for watching.